Hey guys, in this video I'm going to use a FET simulation, which I'll put a link down below and you can go and do that if you want because it's a really, really good one, to show you how in practice the rules for um, current and potential difference in series and parallel circuits work. Because being told what happens is fine, but actually being able to see what happens is much, much better. Here I have a series circuit. You can see I've got my batteries in here, my ammeters, and three bulbs. And if we look at the ammeters, they are all reading exactly the same. It does not matter where they're positioned, they're all reading the same current. Now if I get a little voltmeter, bring this down here. For this, you need to position the hands either side of um, what we're measuring. Because the voltmeter measures potential difference across something. So it needs to be across um, either the battery or the bulbs. And here we can see it is measuring 27 volts. Now if I just move my voltmeter down here, I can measure it across the first battery, no, the first bulb, sorry. And that is going to be 8.999 or 9 volts. Now, if I take it off and measure it across the um, second bulb, I can see that that's the same. The potential difference across this bulb is the same as the potential difference across this bulb, so 9 volts. Now, if I move it to check the third bulb, The potential difference, let's move that up there, is the same, 9 volts. Now, it doesn't really matter which way around the, the red and the blue arms of this go. It's just if I put it the other way around, what I'm going to get is a negative value. That's just because these electrons that you can see flowing here are flowing in the kind of like the opposite direction to this wants you to flow. So here we have 27 um volts across the battery and nine volts across each of the bulbs now nine times 20 uh, nine times three is 27 so in a series circuit the current is going to be the same no matter where you put your ammeters and the potential difference across these three um bulbs adds up to the potential difference across the battery now it should make sense that the potential difference across two bulbs is twice the potential difference across one bulb and here we go this rounds up to 18 volts which is two times nine so we can see that using this we can prove um uh, this is a really really good way of you seeing what the, the potential difference and the current is in real life without having to build those massive massive complicated circuits Now here, I have a simple series circuit with two ammeters, both reading the same. But I'm about to connect this to a parallel circuit. What I want you to do is to watch what happens to the readings on the three ammeters. You can see that these two ammeters are now reading the same, and if we double it, this is the reading up here. I'm just going to add a third arm on. Okay, again, I want you to watch the readings on the ammeters. So now all of our ammeters are equal and they all add together to make the reading on the ammeter next to the battery. So in a parallel circuit, our current adds up. Now, if we get our voltmeter back again, if we measure the potential difference across the battery, we can see that that rounds to 18. If we move it to across one of the bulbs, we can see again we have 18, so the same as the battery. 
move it to across a next bulb. We have 18, same as the battery. And moving it down here, we have 18, same as the battery. So, in a parallel circuit, the current on each arm will add to make the total current. And the potential difference on each arm is going to be the same as the potential difference across the battery.